New developments on a truck crashing into a power line in West Valley City. You can see these huge clouds of dust right there from that incident along the Jordan River Trail. According to witnesses, the truck was driving with its dump bed up. You see that right there. This in the area of 3300 South and 1300 West. At around 530 PM, the bed snagging power lines, pulling them down. Rocky Mountain Power saying they had to repair two electric poles to restore power in the area. At least 800 people were affected. No injuries have been reported. According to West Valley City Police, that accident igniting a few small fires along the Jordan River Trail. Crews still working on containing that fire tonight. Caused a problem at a substation um, over here where the fire actually started. Um, Rocky Mountains come out and taken a look and, and secured the area and made sure that uh, there are no more um, electrical hazards. Uh, when we arrived uh, a little bit after five, uh, we found that uh, there was probably a couple of acres on fire at that time. Uh, it spread in, to a total of maybe five acres. Um, we did get some assistance from Unified Fire Authority, Murray and South Salt Lake on this with some wild nine units. And uh, they all did a great job, real proud of them. Um, it was hot out tonight. We, uh, at the time of the fire, we did have a wind coming from the south at probably 10 miles an hour or so, which really pushed the fire a lot further than what we expected initially. And um, we had to readjust and catch it a little further down. Um, there was uh, no injuries or anything like that from this uh, and nothing, uh, nothing of value burned other than just the, the reeds and, and grasses out there. It seemed like you guys took care of it pretty fast. Like, is this a typical thing that's happened here? I remember last year there was a fire in the same area roundabout. Yeah, th this is uh, part of the Jordan River Parkway Trail. We will continue to follow the very latest on this story and bring you the latest here on air and online at ABC4.com.